If you've searched concrete on YouTube within the last several months, you'll know that most of the videos you see popping up are about dry pouring. Well, we're gonna give it a shot today. We've got a pretty large crack that I need to fill in between my garage and my landing out front here. So we're gonna see if we can fix this crack with some mortar mix and some dry pour. Stay tuned. The mix that I picked up is made by Quickcrete. It's just plain old mortar mix, nothing special. And I think I paid a little over $6 for a 60 pound bag. The stuff's getting a little expensive, really. But um, we'll see how it does. I've already cleaned out the crack the best I could here. It's a pretty large crack, as you can see. And I'm gonna take my little trowel and I'll, uh, I'll just start jamming it in there. That's what she said. <laughs> Here's a pile of the poor patch job I dug out before. It was all cracking up and coming apart. It didn't bond good uh, from the last repair, so I had to bust all that out and get it out of the crack. Now, when I take the trowel and I've got a scoop of the mortar mix, I'll place it on the crack here and then I use the trowel to kind of coerce it down into the crack. And you want to get as much penetration as possible. You don't want it just on the surface. I think that's what caused the last repair to fail. So the deeper you can get it down into the crack, the better off you're going to get. Once you've got a good amount of concrete in the crack, take a finishing trowel and just and down the edge of the crack there. It's going to leave some spaces that are still uh, a little low that need to be filled in. You can go back later and just add a bit to those before you start watering. Once you add a little pile, just go back with the finishing trowel. Drag it in. Again, there's another spot that we're gonna need to add a little to. So we'll do that now. And then again with the finishing trowel. And go on the battle play. Once you've got your concrete in and as level as you want to make it, your next step is going to be to grab a regular old paint roller and start rolling out for smoothness. I've seen others do this, it works great. Helps to uh, blend the material, the old versus the new. You just do that until it's all nice and smooth. Once you get the concrete as smooth as you care to, uh, is it perfect? No, and I don't really care. I just want the crack fixed. 
but I'm choosing to use a uh, sprayer just with water so I can mist onto the surface. You don't want to go real heavy with water, just enough to get it damp, moist. You don't want uh, water to pool. You just want to get it wet. After you get it good and wet, let it sit for, I think an hour. After an hour, you come back, you do it all over again. And then every hour for the next several hours, you come out and just give it a spritz. And then it'll harden and you're done. All right, it sat for about an hour. We just soaked it down again. And again, guys, it's not perfect. It's not super, super even. There are spots in it, but I really don't care. Um, that's just a streak of something that I wiped across it. I took a wet sponge and ran across the top of it just to smooth it out a little bit. And I think it's gonna turn out nice. That's a hell of a lot better than a huge crack in the sidewalk. Uh, so I'll take it. I do have other spots around the house to do. You can see that this old patchwork just isn't very good. It's cracking up. Um, so I'm gonna knock all that out of there. And um, as long as this dry pour deal works, that's how I'm gonna repair the rest of this concrete. So overall, it looks pretty good. Um, you know, like I said, it's not gonna be perfect though. Once we take care of that big crack there, we'll tackle this one.